y'all welcome back and I'm going to now do my product staples well I should say my current product staples because I am testing out some new things you know as your body changes so does your hair and I notice oh, a couple of different things are going on as far as it'll be dry in some areas more than others and I'm going to test out some new things and I'm going to start testing out things that have zero sulfate and the um, first product that I'm trying actually is from the Giovanni line which is the 5050 hydrating balance shampoo clarifying shampoo and the direct leave-in conditioner so I will be doing a review on those after I've used them for about a week or two so I can really have an adequate review all right let's get started i do wash my hair once a week but i will probably co-wash huh, two three times it depends on how much product i have in my hair what i'm currently using that i enjoy and it works for my hair is aussie this big bottle which is 33.8 fluent ounces i purchased at walmart for under five dollars and it has the pump as you can see Let me come back and go in this does have sulfate in it so if you are a 100 percent natural person this will not work for you you will not want to use it okay i follow that up using i use two type three types of conditioners actually it just depends on what i'm in the mood for at that time the first one that I probably will use is the Cleanse and Mend. And this is a conditioner and what it does, as it states, it helps quench frazzled tips and come clean off the roots. All of these bottles are 33.8 fluent ounces for under $5. See that? And that purchase was made at Walmart. Second conditioner would be the Aussie Moist. Okay. I enjoy this as well. And what this is, it conditions to quench dry, thirsty hair. I've been using um, so far these three since May. And I it works for my hair. However, I'm trying new stuff to get away from the sulfate and really see is my hair that sensitive to certain things okay um, I also used a three-minute miracle which is a deep conditioner made by Aussie I use this a lot and it's almost gone I usually co-wash my hair with this and then I'll follow it up by the cleanse and mend and then the Aussie moist sometimes I mix my conditioners together and I will leave that a little bit of that in my hair so after I've done that I will then, while my hair is damp, use my Carefree Curl Gold. I just use a little bit because it goes a long way. And I put a little bit of that in my hair while it's still wet. And then I will follow that up with the Eco Styling Gel, the olive oil. You guys can see that, which they have plenty, plenty, plenty in the area that I'm in. And I just found, I believe, a gallon tub for $10.99 at my local beauty supply store. So I'm making my list. So these are the things that I'm currently using right now. As I said, I am looking into, I'm currently going to be trying things that are sulfate free to see if that's going to help my hair. Um, even though I've been natural for 10 years, I don't know everything. I'm still learning. And like I said, I have to take care of my hair just like I have to take care of my body. That's what I'm using. I will be back this week sometime or weekend with the application of my Cream of Nature Bronze Copper Permanent Hair Color application. You guys take care. Have a good one.